Hey guys, how's going on? My name is Lewis, and God bless every single one of you. Today is August 22nd, 2023, and welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some breaking news updates, some very important information coming out. If you can, please share the video. So we have a big warning alert for this territory. Very important you said the video. Hazardous debris from Lahaina fire to be shipped to U.S. mainland. Fallout? Hmm. Something happened. Something happened. That territory is no good. It's no good. I got a strong feeling this territory is not going to be built in like two, three years. This thing is like a fallout. This is like... Ohio. So let's see what's going on here, guys. It seems like there's some massive uh, cover up. Um, so the debris from the Lahaina fire, which includes contaminated, contaminated waste, like a special Hawaiian building material made from sugarcane fiber and termite poison, will be shipped to the mainland United States. Toxic debris from Lahaina fire to be shipped to U.S. mainland while authorities address contamination issues. Mm, mm, mm. Well, it seems like this area is not livable. It's not livable. That's what it is. They're going to possibly uh, control that area and test the air. They're going to test everything in there. Um, it's like a fallout. Mm. And it's weird because if it's a wildfire, you, I mean, I mean, it's a wildfire. I mean, stuff like this happened in California. And then the next day, you know, they do the cleanup and all that type of stuff. And people go back to, you know, if they still have their homes, they go back. But this one here is a lot different. This one here is like, uh-uh. It's a whole different ball game. So it says here, if you can't please share this video, you have fires in Hawaii have caused concerns about the extent of pollution in the affected areas. Previously, uh, excuse me, previously uh, fire incidents have shown that the remains of destroyed cities can contain dangerous materials that make the cleanup process more difficult so once again guys it's not livable that's what they're trying to say here now i will take you back on twitter and uh show you some more stuff but uh now we got to deal with another wildfire in turkey there is a massive wildfire this is no joke uh a huge evacuation is taking place so canaries island Yellowknife, Canada. You got all these uh, territories. It's just inflamed. The world, basically, the world's on fire. I could show you the map of the wildfire uh, radar. The entire world is seeing flames. So, the amount of debris generated from major disaster events on the low end may be five to ten times annual waste uh, generation in a given community. I just feel like it's some kind of excuse uh, just to take that, uh, take that territory. And uh, you guys already heard about the smart city. Exposure to these toxic substance, uh, substances can cause skin irritation, breathing issues, and even more serious problems over time, including C-A-N-C-E-R. Unbelievable, man. This is, I mean, there's so much to it. There's so much to it. This sounds like Ohio when they uh, did that big boom. And, you know, it, it, it just unbelievable. Okay, so the debris in Lahaina also contains a unique building material called Kanek, uh, made from uh, sugarcane fibers and treated with uh, arsenic to repel uh, termites. 
Now, this materia was used in, in I can't see these words. I gotta remove myself for a second, guys. These letters is not even darkened. Uh, okay, so it contains a unique building materia called Kanek, uh, made from sugarcane fibers and treated with arsenic to repair termites. Now, this material was used in structures from the 1930s to the 1960s and possess a risk to health. This is sad. This is a sad story here. Strand the test for soil contamination might not fully capture the extent of the problem, expert warns. Specific tests are needed to identify the contaminants uh, present in the soil. Resident and cleanup crews need to be cautious due to the immediate risk posed by interacting with contaminated environments. As the cleanup process began in Lahaina, hazardous household waste by propane tanks and uh, some very, very powerful stuff. Uh, you also have ammunition and pesticide is being removed. The collected debris will be stored temporarily in a safe location while authorities work on addressing contamination issues. So it seems like the entire island was uh, a big, massive uh, ticking time B-O-M-B, if you kind of think about it. Or can this be just a lame, phony, you know what, E-X-C-U, excuse. Mm. Lahaina uh, plagued by hazardous debris. Some very powerful stuff and undrinkable water. It's nothing there. It's a fallout. It, it's nothing. No clean water. No clean air. The soil is bad. Can't plant nothing. You could get serious issue with your BODY, lungs and breathing and skin, and it's just a fallout. All this is because of sugar cane and other things that was uh, used to build these structures. Sugar cane? All right, so around 2,700 buildings were impacted by the strong and windy flames, and at least 101 individuals have tragically passed. 101. Just imagine if the Big Apple seen the N-U-K-E, and only 101 passed. Passed. Out of, uh, let's say, the bare uh, nuclear, right? Just imagine they launch a nuke towards the, uh, that rotten apple, which, again, the population is big there, massive. And you see a huge mushroom and all that. And then you got the sleeping giant media saying, well, it's only 111 that passed. Um, mm -hmm. All right. So once again, guys, uh, the number is they say is at 101. I thought it was 111. All right. So 101 individual have uh, tragically passed, according to The Guardian. The main efforts are currently aimed at searching and rescuing many B-O-D-I-E-S along with helping the many the place survivors. However, there's a lot of uh, burnt debris that must be cleared away from the island before communities can restart, or, uh, excuse me, start recovering and healing. I must remind you, out of all those that passed, most of them are young ones. And by the way, guys, uh, I heard that Mr. Byrne was out there. He was... He was comparing his situation with the situation that took place in the island. Something about his house also seen flames. Let me tell you something, Mr. Burns. Your situation is not the same as these people's situation. You are filthy rich. You could buy another one in a second. They only getting 700 from you. They lost their homes, their properties, 
many things and loved ones. You only lost a kitchen. I think it was a kitchen that burned. All right, so uh, it says here, um, so it says in and around uh, Lahaina, you can still smell the burning debris and some very powerful stuff is in the air. The WP reported some of the smell is coming from abandoned vans and vehicles with their vehicles melted in puddles on the streets. Did this happen in California? Because California, it, it was the same thing. But the problem here is in those vehicles, there are B-O-D-I-E-S. Remember that. There are also piles of twisted metal, lots of burnt uh, washing machines, and melted uh, weightlifting sets. What kind of fire was this? Uh, even though the fire is getting weaker, there's still danger for many of this area. They're going back to their neighborhoods that they are now burnt and destroyed. I mean, stuff like this got to be jet fuel, right? I mean, what took place in 2001, you saw what it did to them two stones. It's, you, again, I'm using metaphor. Those two stones and a big apple that were hit by two birds. And the stones, uh, there were jet fuels in those stones, which made it come down. It melted metal. This here, vehicles and all that, it's twisted. The metal's twisted, melted, and even... uh. Uh, weightlifting equipment, all that type of stuff. It had to be some very powerful, strong fire. And now, the aftermath. It's a fallout. The air is impacted. Everything is impacted. It smells really bad. They're basically saying it might take years to fix all this. I think it's time to focus on this and stop these biblical wars. They need to work a peace agreement with the bear, work something out with the bear and stop all that. It's time to help the world. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give your life to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Give your life to Jesus Christ and get baptized. We are living in tough time. Till next time later. Peace.